Hi everyone, I'm sharing my flip through today of Artemis, which is my February planner. This is an Aura Estelle A6 in the Syrah colorway. I adore this wine color, I thought it was really appropriate for this month. And here at the bottom I have some charms from Exo Carolyn Designs. This heart in particular gives me all of the Artemis vibes. I also have this one. This love potion is from Rainbow Bottle Charms. It's really cute, I love these. All right, so I'm gonna open this up and share with you what's inside. So what's unique about Aura Estelle planners is that they have both the strings and the rings. So you can use TN type inserts as well as ring inserts in here, which I enjoy. So before I go through that, I'm going to share what I have here in the pockets. I'm not really good at decorating pockets, so I just kind of stuck arbitrarily some things in here. And this is a journaling card from the Planner Sophisticate. Then I have, these are, might look familiar, they were in my previous planner setups. So this is a pocket I made with some C. Amy Draw journaling cards inside hold trinkets that I want to save. And then here I have an acetate, a piece of an acetate. This is from either Michael's, Joanne, or Hobby Lobby. Those are where I get all of my papers that aren't from planner-specific shops. I also punched a hole up here at the top because I really wanted to use this gorgeous clip from Pigtails and Pockets with the rose gold hardware, and this doesn't have a string on the front, so I decided to place it here instead. That's normally where I would place it, the strings, I mean. So love that. And then here I have some card slots, which I've put this calendar, sorry, this calendar from Once More With Love, which is adorable. I love the Cupid, Cupid's bow. I think it's so appropriate for this setup. And then I stuck some page markers here from My Paper Love Studio. These are customs, I'm not using them as page markers and they fit perfectly there. I actually really wasn't sure how to decorate this section, so I just threw a bunch of stuff in there and I really like the way that it turned out. Here I have two pieces from Jessenia of the Planner Sophisticate. This one is gold foiled, it's so pretty. It's like a little washi, faux washi card. And lastly, back here I tucked in this die cut from Van Sticky. She's holding a pretty sparkly pen, which reminds me of my pen gems. So that's what I have in the front pockets. So the Aura Style Scarlet Planners come with, I believe, two strings in the front, yes, and two strings in the back. This is my first time using a planner like this. So in here I have this dashboard. I'm only using one of the strings from Type A from Alexa, and these are pocket dashboards. She has a variety of options, but I like that they are pockets with this flap here, which I use as a sticky note dashboard. These are actually some sticky notes I took from Carolyn Stash, so cute. And this is from Banana Doodle Shop, love that color and that quotation there. And on the back I have some sticky notes from my newest addiction. So this front dashboard is my collage. This will look familiar if you saw my last setup. This is basically my intention and reminder for 2019, excuse me. And then on the inside I have this card from A Jar of Pickles, my favorite card shop. It says, I've been checking you out. This She just came out with this this year, and I love this so much. I don't have a Valentine this year to give it to, so I decided to put it in my planner. I love this in particular because it gives me Bok Bok Bitch vibes, which is a Crazy Rich Asians reference, and I, the chicken really reminds me, I think actually that's a rooster, which I'm also born in the year of the rooster, so it kind of has a dual sentiment there for me, and that's why I placed it in here because I don't have a valentine and it fits perfectly in this A6 TN dashboard and I didn't want to punch it either like I didn't want to cut it and punch it just in case I do get a valentine next year or I don't know I like to profess my love to somebody in the coming year I can reuse this card anyway inside I have this is actually a pocket notebook pocket size notebook from Moleskine and this is essentially my brain dump section I put random notes packing lists whatever in there so I like that. On the back here is the counterpart to this front dashboard. Again, will look familiar if you watch my previous setup. Some great memories that I want to carry with me in 2019. So on to the rings. The first piece I have here is a vellum I made with this quotation from Antonia White. Tonight I am staying alive for dreaminess and the beauty of truth. 
I am staying alive because of a crimson self-revealing heart that for better or worse refuses to shut off. I would have foiled that in red, which have, would have made it even more perfect, but I ran out of red foil. Then this is really my first dashboard here. And this is some cardstock that's textured in this gorgeous, dusty rose color, which is totally my color. I put some cutout hearts here. This is also a paper from one of those craft stores. And here I put this cloud from Pigtails and Pockets. I love this. I will probably reuse this in my next setup. This vellum is also from one of those craft stores I mentioned. I love this vellum in particular because the Bordeaux heart pulls in the planner to the setup. All right, this really begins the first section of my planner. This lettering is from Katie from Katie Bug Plans. I commissioned her to letter some quotations for me. She also did my rebranding, I adore her. This says, write down your goals so when you accomplish them, you know you were brave enough to want them. This is from Alexi Papas, or Papas. I'm not really sure how to pronounce her last name. She is an Olympian a writer, a filmmaker, she has many accolades and I draw so much inspiration from her. Actually, my creative expression the past year, especially the past six months, has really emulated hers. So that begins my first section of my planner and basically what I have here is this insert from Annie Plants Printables with a year in year at a glance and in each section I've outlined some events and goals I have. I really wanted to emulate the goals insert from Jessania Printables there. I didn't have the A6 version and I just wanted to keep it compact in my B6 version so I basically filled it, filled it out excuse me, in my B6 and just kind of transported it here. Then I have this pocket that I made this is a confetti laminate that Anna from Planning with Anna and Julia from Lunar Plants made for me and I cut it up to create this pocket here, double-sided. And the back papers are from craft stores. So in there I have some vellum with this art. This is from Lynn. She is L-V-N-N-S-I, Levinci, that's not, that's probably not how you pronounce it, but that's the blog name, her Tumblr blog and she has mentioned that we could print out her art to place in bullet journals and such, so I decided to do so here. This piece from her is called Artemis. I will link it her down below, of course, because I want to give credit to her. I do love her work, by the way. She also does commissions for tattoos and such. So in there I have Artemis, and then on the back I have some stickers, some glitter film slates, some bold heart arrows, and then this is a die cut from Once More With Love. She wrote my name there, and I think it's so cute. Then this is actually the other part of that insert from Annie Plants Printables, basically some notes pages, some things I wanted to remember to put in Artemis. I just have like a bunch of brain dump type listing stuff here. Then I have this vellum. This is a digital from Banana Doodle Shop, and I foiled it in red. Harry Potter vellum I adore. And then to close out this first section, I have this other piece that I commissioned from Katie, again from Alexi. Good thing I didn't accomplish all my goals yet because then what would I do tomorrow? Again, from Alexi, I adore her so much. And then this is really the beginning of my second section here. This is some paper from said craft stores. Not sure where this die cut is from, but it's a holographic unicorn. I kind of stole it from Carolyn Stoll, meaning I liked it and asked if I could have it, <laughs> and she said yes. So I have this paper clip from Fox and Pip there, and then on the back I put some more paper. Actually, this is this was part of a gift that Jessenia gave me, and I cut this part out and I stuck it there. Then I have this vellum from craft stores, this paper also from craft stores, and I have a little palm here from Peach Palm. Oh, so you'll notice that I don't have any dividers because I didn't get around to making, actually I don't know how to make dividers and I didn't want to buy any, so I basically use these little palms as my divider so I know which section is which. So those are from Peach Palm. I have this paper, this vellum. This is a digital from Happy Scrappy and I foiled it in pink, sparkle like a unicorn. 
and then I recycled this from my previous setup because I loved it so much I couldn't bear to, well, put it away. This is from, this vinyl is from Sparkly Paper Co. The pocket is from Happy Scrappy, and then in there I have some sticker samplers, some stamps, and a card from Sam. And on the back, this is from Banana Doodle Shop. Again, that same heart vellum to pull in the colors of the planner. And this begins my daily, or this is my daily section. So this month I'm using some inserts from Desenia Printables. They are daily inserts, they look like this. I filmed a plan with me for this week, so I'm hoping to upload that next week and you'll see how I use this section in my planner. So, that is the end of my second section. The last section I have here is a shop project section. So this acetate is from Scribble Prints Co. as some pink vellum from craft stores, craft stores. And then on the back there, I have this dream big die cut from Banana Doodle Shop. So this is my shop project section. This is from Jesenia Printables and I really wanna focus on my shop more this year and especially with the rebranding and everything, I've kind of it kind of rekindled my passion for the shop and I really want it to represent fully who I am. So I'm making some changes and also releasing more things that I'm really excited about. So I want to have a specific section where I map out those ideas and those projects. And then the last thing I have to close out the ring section is this jelly dashboard. Carolyn gave me this and I, on the back, well, on the back I stuck this pocket from Once More With Love and then because it's clear and I wanted to use this die cut from Banana Doodle Shop, I placed some of that pink cardstock there just to separate it out and you can see the design on the pocket better so I adore that. This is probably one of my favorite, this is one of my favorite sections of this setup. And then on the back here, this is like a page lifter that I made, it's actually just a pocket and I kind of messed up making it because, I don't know, I'm still learning how to make pockets properly, but this is a digital from Banana Doodle Shop and I foiled it, foiled it, excuse me, in red vellum, or red foil, it's actually vellum, and it says flawless, it's really pretty, and then on the back I have some beauty related scrapbooking papers from craft stores, and then in here I have this rose gold foiled sticker sheet that I made with Jacenia's lettering. And here I have this digital from Fox and Pip. I adore pretty things and witty words. I also have this tag from Marine Later, one of my favorite clothing brands lately. This actually came with one of the shirts that I got my brother for his birthday and I really like this brand. I actually applied for a job there but I didn't hear back. <laughs> anyway, I really, I thought it was cute so I placed it in there. On the back here, I like I said, I'm not too good at decorating pockets and back here I usually have the stickers. I've been using one kit for this entire month from Scroll Prints Co. and when I'm not using that I will stick it in here. And then this is a actually a notebook or a note paper from AKR Design Studio. She is an artist that I discovered at the Renegade Craft Fair the first time I went a few years ago and I adore her work. So I have this notes page here. I got this idea from Jesenia because she actually placed one of her pages in her pocket and I love the way that it looked peeking out so I did the same and I love that it kind of matches that paper there. Obviously I love boba so I had to put a little boba related item there. So that is my planner. I also usually have a pen gems or whatever pen I'm using in the pen loop there but for now it's empty. I want to put something here, like a reference insert of sorts, like a book tracker, which I am I kind of requested to Jesenia that she make one, so hopefully she makes one soon. But anyway, I wanna put like some tracking type insert here, but I don't have any for now, so that's just blank for now. So that is my setup in Artemis. It's really simple and I take an iterative approach when setting up my planner so I add things as I see fit throughout the month. So it's never quite finished but I do like that it evolves with me as the month goes on and I'll probably take a lot of these pieces with me onto my next setup. But anyway, I hope you found some inspiration or ideas from this setup. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.